Okay, so for overhead, we just talked about there are all other remaining overhead costs. So besides indirect material, besides indirect labor, we may also have plant assets that we need to depreciate. And we definitely rent a place and we have to pay rentals. We have to pay utilities when we use electricity, water, heating systems, insurance on plants, facilities, property taxes. These are just some of the examples of all the remaining incurring um, indirect costs that we need to consider all together as well. So this T account here, after a whole year of production line, we add up all the indirect costs. So it totals up to $73,000, okay? But notice that this number, we only get to know this actual number when it comes to year end, right? Because utilities, we only know the cost after the fact when we actually use it, monthly basis, weekly basis. Rental, you may be able to guess an approximate number probably will be fixed, but you may also, perhaps, uh, your landlord increases the rent. You may also need to change this. Depreciation, most likely if it's fixed depreciation by month, then it could be a same number. But it's also possible that if machines breaks down, we need to trade in new equipment, then we need to adjust depreciation as well. So what I'm trying to get to is that this number, $73,000, is after using all different types of machines, using the place. This, this exact number, we only, we're only able to get, to the, get to this number when it comes to year end. So what happens if we have a few job orders that we need to ship out by March 31st or April 30th or half, halfway through the year June? We need to determine the cost of that in order to set the retail price, set the price that we want to charge our client. Okay, so this portion of the indirect cost, we're going to use a way to measure it, a predetermined rate in order to assign a portion of indirect cost to this job, a portion of the indirect cost to the other job. So we don't misprice the service, misprice the product that we're charging clients. 